There we go. Hi. I'm back. I'm going to do another one. Thanks so much for your lovely comments on the fish class I did um, for the week. That was ever so good. I wasn't sure if anybody had watched, to be honest, or if anybody would find it easy to follow. Um, but yeah, I was really chuffed. It was really nice. I got some really nice comments and some really great paintings. The only thing that people said was that this uh, this picture, where do you think that this picture was a bit small. So what I'm going to do today is, once I've explained what we're doing, I'm going to disappear my face, so hopefully you can see the painting a lot better. So yeah, jellyfish. I gave people the option of whale or jellyfish, and it came back that most people wanted to have a go. One, one of mine. Um, bear in mind with these, I take about four or five, maybe more hours doing these. So the ones that you can actually achieve in like about 20, 25 minutes, um, they're not going to be as detailed, but they'll certainly give you a taste of what you can achieve and give you all the, the ways to do things. This is one, if you can see on this screen here, this is one I had a go at just to practice really, just for when I was going to do this to see what I could get in 20, 25 minutes. And that's, so you can see that Although it's not as detailed as the one I sell, it's definitely on the way then. If you spent a bit more time on it, you could get it up to that. So today, let's go see what we can come up with. So just a bit of fun. Don't need a lot of stuff. So piece of A4 paper. Um, watercolour paper is better, but if you've got a thick card or anything like that, I've got my watercolour paints, which, where's the camera? There we go. A bit messy again, but you can see they're mine. Or I've picked up these today just to show you. So these are, I got those from the works for I think it was two pounds or three pounds. They're the set that my little girl's got. So anything like that, just to have a go. And then brushes. And I've got these, which is mine, the number 10 and a number one. So basically a, a thicker one and a skinny one. And then again, I got these from the works for three pounds. So if you could get something like that, anything like that, I'd do the job. And then I've got rubber, jugs of water, kitchen towel to dab your paint brushes on, and I've got my hair dry. And the only thing you'll need today is like a jar or a glass or something you can draw with a circle on the bottom so you can draw the um, tops of the jellyfish. There we go. So let's get going. So like I say, this is going to be a quick one, just to give you an idea. And obviously, because if I do it any more than 30 minutes, I can't post it on Facebook or Instagram very easily. Um, so it's only going to be short, but hopefully it should give you a taster. And you can always rewind bits or fast forward bits if you want to. So there's this one, it's going to be on tonight. And then you can record or rewatch uh, the fish one that I did last week. If you go to my Instagram, you'll find the link. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to get rid of myself. How do we do that? Hi, selfie. Let's, oh, yeah, there we go. So, here we go. Let's give it a go. So, the first thing you need to do is get your glass or your jar or whatever you're using, and we're going to draw um, round the tops. And all we're going to do, actually, if I put that next to me, you'll be able to see what I'm blabbering around. There we go. See that? Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to draw three little jellyfish tops. Bobby's going to have four. So just draw around whatever you've got. I'm going to draw a line quite dark because, yeah, you can't see that very well. So I'll draw that a bit darker. There we go. One, two, three. I'm only going to do three. Obviously, this painting's got. A lot more but just for speed just so you can see what i'm doing you can do more on yours if you've got the time so there we go three jellyfish tops and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to join up the lines to create the jellyfish bodies so dead easy curve the edges of the line uh, there's no technical term draw a wiggle and then curve it round again curve the end draw a wiggle and then join it up at the end, there we go. There you go. And very quickly, you've got three jellyfishy type bodies. 
So the next thing I'm going to draw is these tentacles. So they start back at the top and then they kind of fade out to nothing. Um, there's no rules really to these other than start at the top and wiggle out to the bottom with two lines. So I'll show you what I'm on about. So you I'm going to draw my point. And wiggle away and then fade out. Wiggle away. There we go. So you can see that I'm just going to draw quite a number of those. Obviously, spend a bit more time than I've got on yours. You know, getting them to go where you want them to go. I'm just going to very quickly. Um, do them all in the same direction so it looks like they're blobbing along in the sea with the water making their tentacles go this way and that way. And these are only a guide for your paintbrush. Obviously, you could rub these out afterwards. There you go. So very quickly, three little jellyfish. The only other thing I've got then is on the one I've done, I've done, if you can see on there, there's some like little tentacles that are kind of like just little fine lines that I've done with my paintbrush afterwards. If you just draw those as pencil lines, it's kind of just show you what I mean, just as a single line, just do some general guide. So nothing fancy. I'm literally just going from the corners of the body of the fish and wiggling out. So at the minute, given it does look like a bit of a wavy line there, it's been spaghetti going on, but you can see that really quickly you've got the basis of a jellyfish drawing. Then we'll have a go paint it. So first of all, grab your paper brush and all you're going to do is you're going to get the water, plain water, and you're just going to wet the tops of the jellyfish paint. Dead easy. That's one. Yeah, so anywhere that's wet, so try and stay within the line because anywhere that's wet is going to get colour on it. So what we're going to try and do is I've picked four different colours. So I've got, you see that I've got a dark blue, I've got a greeny turquoise, I've got a reddy colour, and a purple. If you haven't got purple on your palette, just mix red and blue together and you'll get a purple. But basically a dark blue, a turquoise green and a red. I've used azure blue, emerald green and carmine and then a violet purple. There you go. You're going to take the blue to start with and you're just going to draw or very lightly touch all the way around the edge of one of the jellyfish. And you'll see that it kind of all merges into the middle. Okay. And then you're going to do that again. I think we'll do traditionally one turquoise. Oh, hang on. I've been talking that long enough. Paper gets dry. Paper gets dry, just wet it again. Okay. 
that all you're going to do, you're going to draw a line all the way around the edge with the green. Going to run into the middle. I'm going to do the same thing with the blue again. Check that works. Oh, that. Yeah. Let's get the blue. And it will all start to run. Then we're going to get a different colour. So what did I do on this one? I'm going to do a green, yeah, a green and red and purple. So here we go. So green. I'm just going to add in. And the only way how to describe the only way I can describe it is to just dab it. Dab it on quite wet. And you'll see. That it starts hold that up to the camera. Starts to merge, but you're left with a white bit in the middle. Do that on all of them, and you can pick your colours. So I'm going to do. And the colours will start to match, but try and leave a bit in the middle. Same with this one. There we go. And you can see that. So the plan is, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it eventually look 3D, but by leaving the white, white makes bring things come forwards and all darker colours make things go backwards. So eventually that's what will help it look a bit 3D. But the next thing you're going to do is same brush, just wash your brush out and you're going to use the water only. So you've just got water on the brush and I'm going to just drag down and follow the lines of the wiggle that I did earlier. And what will happen is the paint that you've already just done will slowly start just at the top to drag down a bit. Once you've done that, you're going to get the colour. So if you've used turquoise on the outside of this one, use the turquoise. And you're just going to do some little dabs. So you're going to get some darker bits and some lighter bits on your wiggle. And they don't have to be neat for now. You can see that that's a bit messy, but that's fine. And then you're going to do it to all of them. So next one, so I've just got water on my brush. Go. Keep going all the way down. These ones kind of go behind, so I'm just okay. Yeah. And then because I did the blue on the outside of this one, I'm going to get some blue. I'm just going to add some bits of blue. There we go. And then the last one. So follow the lines you wiggle. So if you don't follow your lines too much, don't worry, you can always rub them out and just drag down that paint. Do the wiggles. And then again, blue around the edge of this one. I'm going to add on.
I'm good. There we go. So you can see, okay, not quite like this yet. Oh, frozen. There we go. But you can see where I'm going with it. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry mine with a hairdryer. If you're at home, obviously you can just wait, or if you want to, you can dry it with a hairdryer. Just bear with me two seconds and I'll just dry this. Make sure you're bone dry. I'm just dying off. That's it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to try and make these little blobs look more 3D. So the white bit's going to make it pop forward. So what you're trying to do is create like a curve. So the shadows that we do around the edge will make that seem curved. So what we're going to do is say on this top one, if you use blue, get some more blue on your brush. Not it's not dripping, but it's quite a lot on there. And you're going to go around the edge. Again, which looks a bit weird, but trust me, it's not. If you can hear that, start absolutely throw it down. Go. So I've drawn a line all the way around the edge, which looks a bit wrong at the minute. It looks too dark and too thick. But all you need to do is wet your brush, dab it on the tissue a bit, and then just with just water, just blur, just paint it round the edge and it will start to blur the edge and keep doing it. And basically what it does is it just fades it towards the middle. And the edge blurs. And when that's dry, you keep adding more if it's not dark enough and actually get in The next one. So same on this one because I did it blue. So blue on your brush, go around the edge. You can do it quite dark actually to make it stand out a bit more. So blue all around the edge. There we go. And again, that looks too harsh and too dark. So with your water only. The most important thing really is to get darker edges and a whitey bit in the middle because that makes it start to look a bit more 3D. Not yet, but trust me, it works. And then this one I'm doing the green. Any colour around the edge. Like See, it looks a bit too dark. So get your water, your water brush and just blur the edges. There we go. Get in there. So then, excuse me a sec, I just need to dry this because I'm going to make a right mess. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and make, so the tentacles actually come from underneath the jellyfish. So we're going to make the bottom of the jellyfish's body and the top of the tentacles, if you like, a bit darker because they look like they come from underneath. So if you grab some of your blue or some of the green, depending on what colour of you have done, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint along the edge. And pull that. 
where the top of the tentacles meet the body, just paint the line, following the line of your body, like that. Rinse off your brush, and then just with a wet clean brush, drag down. brush again and just keep blurring the edges. Watercolour is all about blurring edges and making things fade or there's no real harsh lines in watercolour. It's just a bit of a practice with how wet you can your brush. But that again that that is practice. So you can see that the tops of those have started to disappear. But again you can add more on so it's still not dark enough. Okay. And I'm going to do that with all of them. So the green I'm going to do is green. So get some green. Follow the line of the body at the top of the tentacle. And then grab it down a bit. And then get your wet brush. Good. And then last one. And that brush again. There we go. And you can see that they're starting to look a bit more 3D. Yep, we're getting there. Next job is we're going to make the tentacles look a bit more wavy. So what, dead simple, so say on the green tentacle unit, get some green on your brush. Again, still a little brush, not dripping, but it's covered in paint. Then all I'm going to do is do a couple of gloves. And then when you get to the end, keep your brush on and do a wiggle that fades to nothing. We'll do it again. So a few gloves. And then when you get to the end, do a wiggle that fades to nothing. And keep doing that on each one. There we go. And then when you've done the blobs on this one, just wet them slightly. So that they're not a squash. So it goes and wiggles to the end. We'll do that on all of this. We'll do it with the blue then. Dead easy. Do it so A few blocks. Wiggle or mine's on the ground. We'll get out to the box.
so I've done those blobs and just wrapped them in over again. And I'm going to take a step. That's not the front. Two blobs. And a sneakers. And two brushes. Two blobs. So we go. Two blobs. And if any of you wiggles aren't quite dark, you can go over the top. There you go. That gives you the idea of that. Stop them coming down. Then, next job. So you're going to do where you did these single pencil lines. You're going to do those next, which are oh, hang on, that on the paper. Are these kind of tentacles that come out here? So I tend to find if you did a blue jellyfish, do green. Bits of these and then vice versa. So on this blue one here, see this, you need quite a steady hand for this. I'm terrible with a steady hand, I've got even now wobbles. So try and go as steady as you can. And then just paint a single wavy line. There's trying to do it. So that's talking hang on. There we go. That's not bad. I think it's just practice with these as well. Okay. I might just flatten some of these up at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to do blue on this green one. Okay. Oh, so we cover it down. You can see that that's starting to look a bit jellyfishy. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your fatter brush. We're nearly there now. So fatter brush, and you're just going to wet it, and you're just going to wet the line where the tentacles and the jellyfish's body meet. Dead simple like that. And the reason you're going to do that is you're going to get some paint that you did at the top and you're going to just darken down. Okay. Dot some on. Oh. Technical term, and it will just start. You can see if you can see on the camera, here you can. It starts to spread so you can see that on the onto the. I'll do a different colour so you can see what I'm talking about. There, now, there we go, you can see better now. See how that starts to, I'm starting to get jellyfish. 
done the spread. Maybe I try to put it down. There we go. Starting to work very nicely. Okay. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this off so that I can show you. when you um, use a hair dryer if you're not careful. So try to let it dry naturally if you can. Any harsh lines you can just blur them out with water like I'm doing now. Then I'd get my little brush, go in with the blue paint again, and maybe a bit of a darker one. So see on mine I've got one that's almost it's quite blue black mine is. Or if you've got if you've got a black in yours, yeah, there's some black in the cheaper one, in the little set, just add some black into the blue and it'll make a really good dark shadow shot colour. Then with a fine brush, I'm just doing some little lines. I'm going to blur out in a minute, but the dark thing, it'll just cast shadows. It'll just make those shadows even stronger. Drag things down, and this is where you need to start playing and messing a bit. Now, I am a messer, so I could mess for hours, but just what you're trying to do is make some shadows just along there. Where the tentacles and the body meet. Okay. And then you can mess away if your heart's content. See, I might add some more bits down here. I'm adding some blue and the green. Add some green and blue, if that makes sense. And then don't ever be afraid to go back and add things. There is a rule when you know when to start, but still don't know when to start. I don't think there's a magic kind of lesson or person that can teach you that it's just when you feel it's right then hopefully we can see that within about 25 minutes 20 minutes that she can start to create something quite cool and what helps loads but do this when you haven't got your best top on is if you load your brush quite wet with water whatever color you want But blue stains really bad. So just be watching what you're doing with the blue. And again, same as last time. The bigger the brush, the bigger the splat. The smaller the brush, the smaller the splat. I love my small brush.
Then that's it really. Then I'd leave it to dry and I'd rub out all the lines and hopefully we can see that with a bit of practice and a longer amount of time, we can start to make something quite realistic or quite fun to do. I'm just going to, if I can, don't quite know how to. Shall I, oh, there we go, I'm back. So yeah, hopefully that's mine. That's mine in about 20, 25 minutes. And if you've enjoyed it and you had a go, please let me know, show me yours. Um, any kids ones or anybody who wants you to tag them, uh, let me know. But at the same time, if you don't want tagging, I'd just be interested to see them anyway. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed and I'll do another one if anyone's interested. If you've got any comments on how I can make it better or how I can slow things down, or if there's anything you want to see, just send me a message. Thanks ever so much.